today is august 28th and here's the deal i'm trying to lose fat and grow my glutes and i'm going to do it in 12 weeks yes i'm going to be doing both things and i'm going to be sharing absolutely everything with you guys here i'm going to be sharing a video every 10 to 14 days I'm gonna show you guys my progress. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So make sure you guys follow along the ride with me. As of today, I am currently weighing 141 pounds, 141.4 pounds. Yes, and I am 5'5 for reference. With that being said, I am not gonna be looking at the scale that much. I'm honestly not even worried of how much the scale is gonna change. I'm going to be focusing more on my measurements. I did take measurements all over my body and I'm going to be taking lots of pictures. I'm also going to be measuring my progress with pictures, my energy, how I feel. I, I just want you to know that you cannot trust the scale itself. That's why you got to use all these other things to be able to measure your progress. So I am going to be sharing with you guys my measurements currently and I'm going to be updating you every two weeks like i said i do like to measure myself in centimeters because that way i can notice changes faster so as of right now my thighs are 61 glutes 103 waist 73 my chest 88 and my biceps 32 centimeters i will not be counting calories i counted calories at the beginning of my fitness journey many years ago for about two months and honestly, it is something that I recommend you do if you have never done it for the sole purpose that it is going to help you estimate. And in my opinion, it's going to help you eat. It's going to help you eat intuitively easier, which is where I am right now on my journey. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing intermittent fasting, not every single day because i don't like to work out when i'm fasting so the days that i'm going to be working out early in the morning then i won't be fasting but i am going to be trying to do it three four maybe five times a week who knows i am going to be doing the 16 hour fast window which is where you eat for eight hours and you fast for six and when you're fasting by the way if you do not know you basically don't eat anything the only thing you have is either water or a tea or you could even have coffee but you have to add uh, a no calorie sweetener like stevia like i was doing earlier today fasting itself will not make you lose weight but it is a great way of controlling calories because when you are in a deficit which is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing a slight deficit focusing on high protein of course when you are on a deficit you are going to feel uncomfortable you're not going to be oh my gosh i'm dying i'm hungry but you are going to be a little bit hungry and it's completely normal because you're literally intaking less energy than what you are i'm going to be having lots of veggies which is something i already do so i already eat like this i'm not really changing my diet drastically i'm basically going to be eating the same what i'm mostly changing is the movement so i work from home it's you know in my computer editing my videos uploading workouts to my app etc so it's a lot of sit down work which means i don't get a lot of movement in and that is why i gained some fat because for a long time i was not doing many steps a day and that is what i'm focusing on right now my focus is to be doing about 10,000 steps a day that doesn't mean that every single day i'm going to be doing 10,000 steps that means that when i look at the previous seven days I averaged around 10,000 steps. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but you get the point. That's the goal. A lot of people like to kill themselves doing so much cardio. And if it works for you, you know, I'm a firm believer that you should do and you should do whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel happy, because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna make you stick to it if you're happy doing it. However, I don't believe doing lots and lots and lots of cardio is the way actually it there's a better way and it's by increasing your needs your non-exercise thermogenesis activity which is one way to do it is by getting your steps in so by doing 10,000 steps you're off to a great start so we got the foods cover we got the steps cover now let's talk about what exercises i'm going to be doing so i'm going to be doing weighted exercises because it's honestly my favorite form of training and I am going to be sticking to a program. So you 
probably don't know this, <laughs> but I do have an app. My app is called Unlimited by Betty Armas. The reason why I don't really promote it on this channel is because my app currently is only in Spanish. So you guys are probably not going to understand it if you're watching this in English. Maybe you're bilingual like I am and you will understand it. And in that case, then I, if you want to follow this program with me, then go ahead. This is my website. Download the app. It's only $14.99 and you get absolutely everything. Like I said, this program that I'm doing is called Level Up 1.1. It's an intermediate gym version, but this program does have intermediate beginner home and gym versions. So a total of four different a total of four different versions. This program is amazing for muscle gain, for hypertrophy, and it's glute focus, which is what I want. So I'm gonna be combining this program with my slight deficit, like I mentioned, my increased in meat, non-exercise thermogenesis activity, and I'm gonna be doing this consistently, and this is what's gonna get me results. It's really that simple. So this is officially day one of the workout of Level Up 1.1. I did make some modifications, which is something that I love about my app that you can um, change exercises. You can change for an alternative one. I was really feeling a little a throat itch coming up like i was i was i was not feeling i was not feeling good <laughs> and i don't know if you could tell but right now my voice sounds very like <laughs> and it's because i do have like like a cold it's going away it's going away but it started while i was recording this video so i did make some modifications for example right after the barbell hip thrust i was supposed to be doing um smith machine squats but i was not feeling it i wanted something less intense so i went and something that would require less time so i went for the seated leg press i switched it very easily in the app and then instead of doing um i think it was step ups what i was supposed to do i switched it for single leg seated leg press you guys i am so excited that i am going to actually stick to this program although we started with the rough patch <laughs> with this freaking cold it's okay I'm not giving up. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to try my best. And I really want to share absolutely everything with you guys so that you can see it's really not that hard to make fitness and healthy eating a part of your life. I know if this is something new to you, it can feel overwhelming because it can feel like a lot of information and that's totally normal. You know, we have this natural mechanism. It's like a natural human instinct where whenever we're trying something new that we have never done before or when, whenever we have, we're receiving new information that we have never received before, it makes us feel overwhelmed and it makes us feel like, oh, I don't want to do that because it's, you know, I I've never done it before, so it might not be safe. It's kind of like a survival instinct. Like your mind does not want you to try new things because it wants to keep you in the known. But let me tell you something, sister. The best things will happen to you in the unknown the best things will happen to you when you try new things and let me tell you making fitness and healthy eating a part of my lifestyle has been the best thing i've ever done and i i'm 27 years old almost 28 and this is the best i have ever felt in my whole life so i highly encourage you to Follow me along and let's do this together. So I'm back home from the gym and I was having a great workout. I was having a blast. Like I was warming up and I was feeling good. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go all out today. I'm gonna have, I'm so excited, day one. And then as I was setting up for my barbell hip thrust, my throat started hurting really, really bad. I mean, it was already hurting since this morning, but it, it wasn't like noticeable like i would forget about it but now it hurts really bad so i definitely took my vitamin c in the morning i just took another one now and i'm gonna order i mean i just feel like going to bed <laughs> i just feel like laying down all day um i'm gonna order um i'm gonna order from orange carrot no what am i talking about Curd Express. <gasps> Can I order? Oh, 
twelve dollars delivery. Hell no. Okay, what's the other place called? Other healthy place, Pura Vida. So I'm gonna order from Pura Vida, which is like a healthy, or. Uh, place and they make fresh orange carrot juice which i love so i'm gonna order that that has like a lot of vitamin c and i'm just gonna order like a sandwich or something i don't feel like eating a bowl and yeah Okay, so the food was delicious. Are you smelling my pesto breath? Pesto sauce breath? <laughs> so the food was delicious. I ate the whole thing. One thing about me is that I can be sick. You know, I can be feeling under the weather. But my appetite will not go away. If my appetite ever goes away, I'm like... It, it's re then, it, then it has to be like really bad. Because my appetite just does not go away. So I am feeling more congested. I think I'm going to take a shower and I like, take a nap or something. I'm so sad <laughs> that this is happening right now, but it, it is what it is. I am going to overdose on vitamin C. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I had two already, like I told you guys. And I'm going to have a third one later on before bedtime. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like today's video. I hope you guys come back. Chloe, stop. <laughs> did you hear the grunt oh my goodness anyways i hope you guys come back for updates i'm gonna be doing these every one every 10 or 14 days because every week is a lot <laughs> every week every week is a lot because you know i record the workouts and it's just this, this is i'm not just a full-time youtuber no like my main business is my app so i i have to divide my time accordingly so i'm gonna be doing and these take a really long time because i do absolutely everything i i record by myself i edit by myself i upload by myself everything is just me so yeah come back in like 10 or 14 days for an update to see how much weight i've lost how do i look how i'm feeling <laughs> Bye for now.